over the years, there have been different attempts by people to define how well an API follows REST, which brings us to what's called the Richardson Maturity Model. The Maturity Model was suggested in 2008 by Leonard Richardson, and what he presents is these three levels of maturity for a REST API. And the way it looks is the following. First, there's level zero. Level zero says you have only one URI and one HTTP method, and this is how you interact between the client and the server. Basically, you have over here the, let's say, product service, and you have a post endpoint in which you interact only with this endpoint, and the message itself will contain what you actually want to do, so to create a new product, to retrieve a product, etc., etc. All of this will happen via interaction with one endpoint. Next, we have level one, where in level one, then we have multiple URIs, so not just one URI, but we're utilizing only one HTTP method. So for example, we have over here again, the client and the server, and let's say the server is over here again, the product service. So we may have multiple endpoints, for example, let's say product management, but for all of these, we'll be using HTTP post. The product management endpoint will be responsible for multiple things, so not just for one thing. It'll be responsible also for retrieval and also for creation of products, et cetera, et cetera we're not utilizing the various HTTP methods. Next, we have level two, which is HTTP. And as you would expect, then over here, we're not only supporting many URIs, but we're also supporting multiple HTTP methods. And now we won't have only HTTP post, but we'll have over here HTTP get, and this endpoint will be for retrieving a product. Post will be for creating a product, put for replacing or creating a new product. Lastly, we have the god tier of REST APIs, which is the hypermedia or supporting hypermedia in your API. The product service alongside having multiple URIs and multiple HTTP methods per URI for the actions that we want to take, in the response, the resource that is fetched also describes its own capabilities and interconnections. So basically supporting Hateos, where we would have here some property called, for example, links. And in this property, it will describe that you can also go ahead and fetch that resource using this HTTP method, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so these are the four maturity levels laid out by Richardson. Now in the industry today, then level three is implemented by more or less no one. And if you're building or designing a REST API for more or less 99% of the time, then level two is what you want to aim for.